All right, guys, we're back with another update on the K20 project. I went and picked up some pieces. This is the carburetor that I just recently took off of it that was uh, dumping fuel real bad. Um, I came across a guy on the marketplace that had some uh, had some parts and had a little bit of a drive to get it, so hopefully it was worth it. But he had uh, three carburetors. He had a quadra jet. This one's supposed to be rebuilt. He had the elder brock. It uh, he said it worked great when he had it. Took it off and went to fuel injection. And uh, this quadra jet, he wasn't. He didn't know too much about. It. He never used it. So it's probably needs rebuilt. Would be my luck. But uh, he did have uh, electric fuel pump I was wanting to pick up to run off that other line in case the mechanical pump ever comes uh, goes out and uh, fuel regulator with it and uh, I took the old carburetor off I went to uh, finish hooking up the power steering ended up having to change the water pump the bracket for the power steering bolt supposed to go through on the one bracket and screws into the lower part of the water pump this one for whatever reason is smooth it has no threads on it so I got lucky and uh, I had a water pump off of a different motor that had the, you know, had the threads on it that I needed I did get the exhaust welded up only thing I got to do now is I do need to get a three inch uh, clamp for the other side and uh, I'm hoping to get this thing fired up. Kind of curious of uh, what the exhaust sounds like. So, uh, the tank's got a little bit of fuel in it, but I didn't have a chance to pick up any fuel. So, I can't let it run long anyway because it's got the uh, no antifreeze in it. So, how much of a pain in the butt this is going to be but we'll try to throw this carb on at least long enough to see if she'll fire the elder brock i didn't have a chance to stop and get the uh, stud kit for it he didn't have it uh, he had some adapter plates but um, i won't need them this one's uh yeah because it's got a performer intake on it so I shouldn't, well, at least I shouldn't need them anyway. It should bolt straight down to this intake. Uh, with no problem, so. Try to get this dude hooked up here real quick. It's just a little tough one-handed. The, the carburetor, this one. I guess I could have showed you why I had it off. I didn't notice it when I bought it. But there's a spot on the front. That I think... There might supposed to be a vacuum line, I'm not sure, so we'll see how well this works out. It's got, uh, where's it at? It's got the, this one here, this hole right above it. <clears throat> you know, a lot of the ones I've seen, those, they always had a uh, vacuum port there. But we'll see, see what happens when we fire it up. So I'm hoping not. It'd be nice if it was just a hole there, but the rate I'm going with this truck, I doubt it. And the only fuel I have to prime it with, unfortunately, is some old two cycle. But it's enough to get the, good enough to get the job done. Shouldn't hurt it none. Sure, it ain't the best for the plugs, but at this point, I'm not too concerned about it. If uh, I don't know what to do, these carburetor, the elder brock don't work on it, then you know, they're both manual choke also. So, just no big deal. I don't have the cable and stuff for it, but. I ain't too concerned about that. That's an easy hookup. I gotta get, uh, actually, I think I, I gotta get the gasket for that carburetor also. And uh, clips on the other carb. Okay, that should be. I think 
gets for the distributor. If not, we'll try it on it. Get everything tightened up. Okay. So I'm hoping this works. At least enough. Let's set you down there for a second. At least fire it up enough to hear how the pipes sound. Huh? Hopefully pretty good. That power steering pump, I was really surprised. But it was, you know, that bracket. Just, just glad I had another pump. All right, I had, here we go. Set you back down here real quick. Put some gas in it. And we'll hope for the best. Hoping it works. See you hooked up. Okay. We'll give her a shot anyhow. That has been a long project. Had this truck a little longer than I thought. Okay, let's see. Hit the key and see what happens. And also I found out came out and got in it and didn't have no brake pressure. Brand new line, so most likely it's a master cylinder. Alright, see what we got. Well, that was a plus, at least it started. Give her some juice. some fire in the hole. Okay. Oh, the return spring. See here, that's what I get for rushing. I think it didn't fire up, man. No, no, wrong spot. Hopefully it's getting gas in that tank. I don't have the sending unit hooked up yet, so I don't even know if it has, you know, got anything in it. It's next to nothing. There. good till we give it some gas at least it started let's try her again Fuel line might be leaking a tad too. But let's give her a shot. This ain't good. It sounds like the timing's off. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Sounds like the world's best gas leaking out of there. Oh yeah, she's dumping, man. You can see down in there or not, on so much for being rebuilt. This 
thing's got all kinds of fuel dumping in it. Man, can't get lucky for nothing. See if we can at least get her to idle. Won't even idle. Well, uh, let me shut the fan off. So much for being rebuilt. This is all sounds pretty decent for being straight pipes. Probably end up getting some mufflers for it, but I think it's the line leaking. Yeah, I think it's leaking around the line there, but the accelerator pump's definitely leaking. And he rebuilt it, he definitely missed something because it's well, it's all down now, but it was, yeah, it was definitely uh, dumping fuel down the back. So right, I'll get, uh, uh, it's coming out the sides too. It's all right, I'm taking, uh, get the studs and the gaskets for the elder brock and give it a shot. But uh, I can't think of anything else, but... Besides the brakes, I'm surprised. I ran all new brake lines on this thing, so. Except for the two going down off the master cylinder to the junction block down there. Those two I didn't replace. But the rest of the truck's got all new lines, calipers, wheel cylinders, uh, everything, so. <sighs> I'll pick up another master cylinder for it and get it on it and get these fans situated. And I did get that other, I guess I could show you real quick. I hold you guys up too much since I really didn't get anywhere. These, I got these out of the shed. Finally, these are the ones I was talking about we had on that old K5. Man, these things worked really good. Just made the, uh, uh, measured it all out. Used uh, some old angle iron. Made a framing for it and bolted the fans into it. And uh, these ones actually bolt on the inside of the radiator, where these ones are on the outside. I haven't tried, like uh, Jerry, like you were saying, I haven't tried, haven't had time to try to make a shroud to go around them to get more air through it. Um, I was going to put this one on it, but there's too much of a difference in the core support between the. This one's a 79. This was on a. The last year the squares for the blazer was a 90. Um, There's too much of a difference. Uh, so it wouldn't fit. And I think that might be it for now. Man, that sucks. I don't know, at least it started, I guess. It's the first I've had it started in I don't know how long. The last video I had of it running, I think, was uh, a couple months back. Uh, but I'll get all that figured out. I'll get uh, I have to pick up a gasket and uh, the studs for it, and uh, we'll throw it on and see if we can get her going. See what happens. Uh, if that one, I don't know. Hate to think, uh, unless I'm tooth off on the cam or something from where we put a new, replace the cam, the lifters, both gears and a chain on the timing, put a new distributor in it. So unless I'm off. Uh, a tooth somewhere on the you know bring it up on number one or if I was a tooth off on the cam I who knows but uh, so we'll see it was worth a shot uh, he definitely missed something in there when he was rebuilding that so we'll see I know this elder Brock's supposed to be he said this is the one he was using he took it off and went to fuel injection so he said it worked really good he had it on a, a 350 Chevy took it off put fuel injection on it and uh, I can't remember how long he said it was setting though but it's been in the shed cover or not the shed it's been in his garage covered up and it's got a little bit of dust on it so it's uh, this one's a uh, 600 CFM so 
it should, should be about right for that motor. The cam we put in it uh, was nothing really spectacular, just enough to wake that old motor up a little bit. But uh, I don't know, I get something going, man. I'll uh, it's at least something that's interesting. I'll give you guys a holler. Thanks for watching.